Hello and welcome to the Slovak Snapshots podcast created by Actuality.sk. My name is Zorislav Poliak and I'm bringing you the most captivating and important stories from across Slovakia. Each week we'll dive into the headlines that matter, from breaking news to heartwarming stories. So, whether you're local or a global listener interested in Slovakia, we got you covered. It is June 29 and you're listening to the Slovak Snapshots podcast. 16 dead bears in 17 days. The State Nature Protection Service, which falls under the Ministry of Environment of Tomáš Taraba, shot 16 bears in 17 days. This was reported by the former head of the Brown Bear Strike Team, Marian Hletko, who obtained the information based on an info document from the State Nature Protection Service. In the period from May 6 to May 22, 2024, 16 bears were shot in Slovakia, Hletko wrote. The State Nature Protection Service was particularly active in these two weeks, as they had previously shot only one bear since the beginning of the new year. The official figures show several dead bears only until 22nd of May. Therefore, the number of bears killed will probably not be final. The editorial office Actuality.sk has information from two independent sources that the number already exceeds 40 bears. According to the information Hletko received from the State Nature Protection Service and provided to Actuality.sk, of the 16 bears, 2 were males, 9 females and 6 cubs. The social value of these bears is more than 80,000 euros. I do not question the need to eliminate problem individuals. However, this should only be done when the other measures have failed. If hazing doesn't help and the bears return to the intravillon, the last option is killing. The bear should be put to sleep and then euthanized by a veterinarian, not in this inhuman way, Letko told us. He explained that when a bear is shot, it must be an individual that has lost its shyness and is dangerous to humans. The method of killing must be also subject to some rules. As former state secretary Michal Kicha explained to Actuality.sk, the photographs published by Hletko show that they were so-called trophy specimens, ready for preparation and display. The reason for the shooting of the bears is not yet known. President Pellegrini made his first official visit of Czech Republic. The new Slovak president, Peter Pellegrini, was on his first official foreign trip to Czech Republic, where he met with the president, Peter Pavel, and prime minister, Peter Fiala. At the same time, the Slovak government office reacted to Tuesday's statement by the Czech prime minister that he considered the resumption of intergovernmental consultations premature, which the Slovak government described as disrespectful. Czech Prime Minister Fiala said his statement was not meant to be disrespectful, but respectful of the situation as Prime Minister Robert Fico recovers from his injuries. The Czech intergovernmental consultations were postponed in response to Slovakia's stance on the war in Ukraine. After a meeting with Czech President Pavel, Pellegrini had said that some more time must pass before the negotiations can resume. Both of them expressed hope that relations would improve and agreed on direct communication and new forms of cooperation. Pellegrini stressed that Pavel's views on the situation in Ukraine are pragmatic and correspond to reality. Slovakia will contribute to Czech munitions activity with its production capacities. For Pellegrini, the first foreign trip to Czech Republic was not just a matter of course, but an effort to send a clear signal about the highest level of relations between Slovakia and the Czech Republic. The Smer party criticized the Czech police for their inaction in making statements approving the assassination of Prime Minister Fico. Smer's member of parliament, Tibor Gaspar, accused the Czech police of politicization. While the Czech police refused to be politically tasked and execute under the pressures. This happened just as President Pellegrini was meeting President Pavel. President Pellegrini did not want to evaluate the actions of the Czech police. 
but pointed to a firm approach of the Slovak police, which has already sentenced the authors of the hate speeches to an unconditional sentences. History was made in the e-group of Euro. The Euro 2024 preliminary groups are over and we already know the complete composition of the eight final pairs. Slovakia finished third in the group E and advanced from the third team's table together with the Netherlands from group D, Slovenia from group C and Georgia from group F. They also moved on as third teams. Croatia and Hungary didn't qualify for the knockout battles from the third place. The Slovak group ended rather unusually. For the first time in the history of Euro, it happened that all teams had the same number of points. Romania, Belgia, Slovakia and Ukraine had four points each and Ukraine was eliminated from the group. The first team in the history of the Euros that did have four points and didn't qualify. Slovakia lost 1-2 against Ukraine last week and finished their last group match with a 1-1 draw against Romania. Slovakia will play the winner of Group C, England, in the eight finals. The duel is scheduled for Sunday at 6 p.m. in Gelsenkirchen. England may have won Group C, but their performances so far have been disappointing. They beat Serbia 1-0 to start the tournament, then drew 1-1 with Denmark and 0-0 with Slovenia. Never boring Slovakia. Did you know that Milan Rastislav Štefánik was not only a key figure in the creation of Czechoslovakia, but also an accomplished astronomer and pilot? Born in 1980, he conducted astronomical research in various parts of the world and later became a general in the French army during World War I. His efforts in diplomacy and military strategy were crucial in gaining international support for Czechoslovak independence. In Slovakia, Milan Rastislav Štefánik is the biggest Slovak who ever lived. And there you have it, another The Slovak Snapshots podcast in the books. We hope you enjoyed this weekly adventure through the newscape of Slovakia. Remember, knowledge is power, so go ahead and impress your friends at the next gathering with your newfound facts. But hey, don't take yourself too seriously. Life's too short not to enjoy a good laugh. We'll be back next week with more stories that will keep you informed and entertained. Until then, stay curious, stay informed and keep sharing those lovely smiles.